Sheridan, look, this... This is too upsetting for you. Let me, let me turn this off. No, me. I want to see it. Back. Well, Paris is as beautiful as ever. But I gotta tell you, it's killing me to be here without you. Anyway, today I searched the streets around Montmartre. I'd gotten a lead that Beth was hiding out there with Marty on Rue de Martyrs. It was a dead end. <sighs> I wouldn't be going through any of this if I'd have just listened to you in the first place. I just hope that you can forgive me the day that I come back to your cottage and walk through the door with Marty in my arms. I wish I knew how to help her. I think the only thing that'll help is if Louise comes right through that door with their child, and that is not going to happen. He is never coming home with or without Marty. Ethan, wait. I want to see this. Honey, why don't you give yourself a break? You know, this is just making you more upset. This video, his voice, this is all that I have left. Sheridan, it, it just might not be a great idea to watch the whole tape in one sitting. Maybe you should give it a week or two to... No, I want to see it tonight. You don't understand. Of, Sheridan, of course I do. Sweetheart. I just meant that... You know, maybe I'll just meet you at home in a little while. Sure. I'm so, Honey, I understand. I'm sorry. I know. You, you take your time. She needs her best friend right now. I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You don't need to know because that's never going to happen. I hope so. Oh, the sad thing is, I think I would rather lose you to death than to Teresa again. Maybe we can just talk for a while and take a break from watching this. I appreciate it, Gwen. But I need to hear every last bit that Louise had to say to me, even if it wasn't in person. Well, uh, I guess all the motel rooms pretty much look the same, but I'm in Moscow now. Moscow? I had no idea he'd even gone there. Neither did I. I should have, but I wouldn't take any of his phone calls. Please don't do this to yourself. He knew that you loved him. He did. What's the problem? I don't know if he did. Still no sign of Beth or Marty. But I want you to know that I am following up on every damn lead that I get. I just pray to God that you can find it in your heart to take me back so that we can... we can be the family that you used to always want us to be. I still do, Luis. I still do. I'm leaving Moscow tonight. Still no sign of Beth or Marty. I think they were here, but they're gone now. You see, your damn father keeps moving them, so I'm always one step behind, but I'm getting closer, Sheridan. I'm telling you, I'm getting closer. I can feel it. Don't you worry, okay? I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna bring them back. I would never give up on our son. Well, I'm in Venice now, and I'm telling you, I've got a good feeling about this place. I spoke to an old lady last night. She was, she was selling these postcards down by one of the canals. I showed her Beth and Marty's picture and she got all excited. She said that they were here not three days ago. They're here, Sheridan. I'm gonna find Marty and I'm gonna bring him back to you. I'm leaving Italy tomorrow. There is no sign of Beth or Marty, I guess so. I guess I just missed him. He looks so frustrated. He's just upset he didn't have better news for you. No, it's more than that. I can see so much sadness in his eyes. It's because of what I said to him before he left. Listen, you were upset. He knew that. Maybe. 
Maybe not. I love you, Luis. Please know how much I love you. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, at first I thought I'd be sending you these tapes as I traveled the globe looking for Marty, but I changed my mind. Why? I'm gonna keep him with me until I find him. And that way you won't be seeing him until I'm safe and sound, and the three of us will watch him together. You, me, and my son. Please. Probably throw him in the trash anyway, considering how angry you are at me. No. So help me God, Sheridan. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life making up for letting you down so terribly. No. Luis, I wasn't angry. I was just hurt. Once you walked out the cottage, I, I regretted everything that I said. If only I told you. He knew. I swear to you, he knew. Well, I've got to cut this one short. I've got a meeting with the source, and uh, hopefully he'll lead me to Beth and Marty. Hey, it's me again. I actually came pretty close tonight. That guy took me to a villa on the outskirts of the city. He wanted me to watch it for a few days before doing anything. But I charged in. And, uh, the killer was, they were there. See, I found this. It's one of Marty's favorite books. It's sweet Marty, with all my love. And shared. How did Beth get that? My father must have sent it. Do you notice how I had to sign the inscription? Aunt Sheridan, I, I hated doing it, but I couldn't confuse him. So he was here, Sheridan, which means that I'm getting close. Don't you worry, okay? When I get home, we'll buy Marty a new copy and you can inscribe it. Love, Mommy. to Tangier. There's been a sighting of a dark-haired woman and a little boy who got into a limousine when they arrived at the airport. No, not Tangier. Oh, God, Gwen, I, I sent him to his death. He didn't know how much I loved him, and I sent him to his death. Just checked in. It's weird, though. I got a uh, strange vibe from the hotel clerk. Uh, it's probably just my imagination. God knows what happened last time I listened to my gut. <laughs> no reason to think there's going to be any trouble here. No, Louise, your instinct was right. Anyway, I got to cut this one short because I'm meeting a guy in a bar down the street in a few minutes. It must be where he was stabbed. I just wanted you to know that no matter where I am, no matter how many miles I am from you, you're always right here where you will always be. I love you. I don't want you to ever doubt that, and I know you did last time I saw you. I'm gonna bring our son back and prove it to you. Or die trying. No. Luis, don't go. Please don't go. Why can't this all be a horrible nightmare? Why can't Luis just walk through that door with Marty? I would give anything for that to happen. I'm so sorry. I know I'm torturing myself by fantasizing about something that's impossible. Well, you know, Luis may not have been able to find Marty, but honey, he is still out there. 
Please don't get my hopes up about that either. I've lost Louise, and I've lost my little boy. I might as well be dead too. Sheridan is right, it is not good to fantasize about things that can't happen. 